z is equal to y times f of x plus x into phi of x. Here we have two functions f and phi are the two functions. So in this case if two functions are there we need to go for first differenti uh, differentiation with respect to x and y partially as well as second differentiation with respect to x and y partially. Okay. So the given equation 1 will differentiate with respect to x and y partially in the first case first step that is dou z by dou x is equal to which is called as p keep y as it is because y is a constant with respect to x y is a constant so partial derivative of f of x will be f dash of x plus phi of y is a constant partial derivative of x with respect to x is 1 so this is nothing but equation number 1 similarly with respect to y we will get dou z by dou y is equal to q times f of x plus x into phi dash of y equation 2 equation 3 now because of two functions f and q phi are two functions that's why we have to differentiate again equation 2 and 3 with respect to x and y partially so differentiate equation 2 again with respect to x so what happens here if you differentiate one more time it will become dou square z upon dou x square dou square z upon dou x square which is symbolically called as r equal to keep y as it is f dash of x with respect to x will become f double dash of x plus phi of x which is constant as uh, with respect to x so this will be 0 leave it give equation number 4 similarly differentiate equation number 3 uh, with respect to y partially we will get dou square z upon dou y square is equal to which is symbolic called as t is equal to equation 3 so f of x with respect to y is what here constant 0 leave it plus x into phi dash of y will become what here phi double dash of y equation 5 now also we need to go for if either you differentiate equation number 3 with respect to y or uh, differentiate equation number 2 with respect to y or opposite equation number 3 with respect to x opposite either if you are considering this with respect to x you have to differentiate or if you are considering this equation equation number 2 you have to differentiate partially with respect to y so i had taken here equation number 3 with respect to x partially so which is nothing but dou square z upon dou x into dou y is equal to which is symbolically called as s so equation number 3 is here you have to differentiate equation number 3 with respect to x so at that time what happens here it will become with respect to x means f dash of x plus keep phi dash of y as it is partial derivative of x with respect to x is 1 so we will get equation number 6 so with the help of equation number 4 5 6 we are going to simplify now now equa from equation number 2 equation 2 is i have taken p is equal to y f dash of x plus phi of y you can see here equation number 2 is out here p is equal to y into f dash of x plus phi of y you have to take it so from this i will take f dash of x on other side and remaining on another side so f dash of x if you keep outside what you will get p minus of phi of y divided by this y Similarly from equation 3 which is q is equal to f of x plus x times phi dash of y. So on simplification phi dash of y will become what here from this phi dash of y will become q minus f of x upon x. So these two results we know it. So these two results the values of f dash of x and phi dash of y will use in equation number 6. What is equation number 6? Equation number 6 is nothing but s is equal to s is equal to f dash of x plus phi dash of y so we will apply the value of f dash of x plus phi dash of y here in the equation number 6 from these two values we will apply in equation number 6 so therefore s is equal to the value of f dash of x p minus uh, phi of y upon y plus phi dash of y we got here q minus f of x upon x so take the LCM, LCM is xy cross multiply x into p minus phi of y plus uh, y into q minus f of x. So open the bracket, you cross multiply xy to the left hand side, it will become xy s. You open the bracket, so you will get uh, on simplification, you will get what here. So it will become, if you open the bracket, px minus x into phi of y plus yq or qy 
plus into minus is minus y into phi of x. So px plus qy I will keep one side and from these two this and from this. So we will take minus sign common then rewrite it as y f of x plus x into phi of y. So this is nothing but the given question which is nothing but z. So therefore it will become out here x y s you shift this z to the left hand side it will become plus z is equal to this px plus q1. This is the required PDE or you can replace the values here. So xy as it is s is nothing but dou square z upon dou x into dou y plus z as it is x as it is p is nothing but dou z by dou x plus q uh, y as it is q is dou z by dou y. So this is a required PDE.